Well, hello and welcome back to those of you who have been following my channel and welcome to those of you who are new. I am finally at the point where I can start packing for my Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness Canoe Camping Trip. I'll be going solo into the wilderness. It is in northern Minnesota bordering Canada, so it's going to be really quite a trip. If you've been following my channel in the last several months, I've been training for this trip so that I have the strength uh, to haul a 32 pound canoe and I'm going to have somewhere around 50 to maybe 60 pounds of gear. And I have it all organized in my gear closet. Earlier this spring, I did a video when I unpacked my Sea to Summit Comfort Plus insulated mattress. And at that time, I promised to do a video showing my gear closet. So today's the day. I have accumulated all of the gear and food that I need for my trip. It's all very well organized right now. That won't last. It's going to be a real mess, but it will eventually become super organized again into my packs. So here we go. Here's my gear closet. On the top shelf of my closet, I have a spare pair of my favorite La Sportiva running trail shoes. I also keep on the top shelf any extra gear for someone that may join me that might not have enough equipment. I also keep a car camping only a Coleman mattress that is full size. It actually does fit in my tent. I rarely use it. On the other side where it's dark, I will show you that as soon as I open the other side of the closet. Uh, on the sh next shelf, I have everything organized uh, starting from the left on the top. I have all of my toiletries and first aid. Below that, I have everything that I call my maintenance kit. Everything that doesn't fit into any particular category. Next to that, I have my headlamps, uh, batteries, flashlights, anything that has to do with lighting. Below that, I have my maps, whether it's for backpacking or canoe camping. To the right of that, on the top, I have all of my camera supplies, and beneath that is a camera, it's a Pentax waterproof. It's an older model and I would only use that as a last resort uh, if something happened to my other cameras but I'm not bringing it along on this particular trip. To the right of that, which is somewhat in shadow, is my dehydrated food. As you can see, I have a great place to hang my lucky uh, backpacking poles. Uh, everything that is in this closet can either be used for day tripping, hiking, backpacking, canoe camping, or car camping. So huge broad range of, of gear. So clothes, um, shirts, jackets. As far as my packs, I have uh, from left to right my camera pack, some running packs, just a half pack. I also have just a, a day pack that I use uh, sometimes in town. Next to that is I use this for a day pack also or I use it as a fishing bag when I'm going on a canoe camping trip. Um, to the right of that is a canoe pack that I use generally for food and next to that just my car camping bag that I use for clothing. Um, to the right of that is my backpack, my Deuter uh, backpack, and way back to the right of that, uh, which I'll show you in a minute, is my canoe camping backpack. Down below, um, on the top left, I have my tent and bedding, so kind of my bedroom supplies are in there. Uh, beneath that are supplies that I use uh, strictly for car camping, 
So it might be wash bins or paper towels or towels, things like that that are just way too heavy for taking on any kind of a backpacking or canoe trip. Uh, that's just for car camping supplies. To the right of that, it is anything to do with water for any kind of a trip. Beneath that are any kind of bags that I would use to pack my gear, uh, compression sacks, waterproof bags, uh, things like that. So on to the other side. At the top is a giant sleeping bag. It is synthetic, very warm, heavy, and I use it in either early spring or early winter when I really need the warmth and I use it for car camping only. Uh, beneath that is the dehydrated food. Next to that are bottles of product that I use to either treat any kind of my gear as such as waterproofing or to clean uh, down or any of my gear as well as just laundry supplies because I clean my gear out of town before I come back so I come back with clean gear. Beneath that is anything that I need to go fishing in canoe country or in town for that matter but everything is very lightweight and built to be easy to carry and pack. To the right is my bear barrel. I've really been debating between a bear barrel and an ursac on this trip. Right now I'm leaning toward my bear barrel. Just because it holds more food than my ursac, it will let me stay out longer if I choose to do that. To the right is my bug dope and my permethrin, which I use to treat my gear for ticks. I'm not as concerned about that in late August uh, going on into the fall. That blue and black bag is my Cook Custom Sewing Canoe Pack that was customized for my torso length. That's definitely coming with on this trip. To the right, I have this really wonderful organizer that let me fit in all my big boots and things. So on the top shelf are hats, scarves, and buffs. Beneath that, I have my boots that I'll be wearing for my canoe trip because they're Merrells, they will dry fast, and I do, I am what's, I'm a wet footer, so I just go ahead and get wet. I don't even try to avoid it. Be behind those are a pair of waterproof Keen leather boots. Uh, those will be staying behind. My La Sportiva Raptors are beneath that. I use that for all of my training and backpacking trips and behind that that you can't see is just another pair of running uh, pavement trainers. Beneath that are my Baffin boots that I'm going to be using for snowshoeing in the winter. Beneath that are my Tevas or Tavas depending on how you pronounce it. They are really a wonderful lightweight shoe. They pack very flat. They're really great for feeling the ground uh, under your feet. Good for being on wet, slippery rocks. Uh, the only downside is that I can't get them wet. Beneath that is a fishing net. I have been shopping for a lighter weight net, but I think for this particular trip, I'm going to just tough it out. That box that you see is everything like kitchen supplies. So my fuel, stove, any kind of coffee maker, espresso maker, French press, uh, things like that. If it has to do with plates, bowls, spoons, uh, cooking, it comes out of that box. To the right is a Coleman car camping only stove because it's so heavy. It's really my favorite because it packs up so compact and it has a little handle and you carry it. I just love it. It's two burners. To the right of that 
that is my fishing rod. It's a St. Croix rod that is definitely going with. And something that you see in just about every video is my REI cap that I use for training and I think I'm going to be taking a different cap with me on my trip. But that's it. That's my gear closet. Thank you for watching.